Uh, from BT's perspective, we're thinking about it in four different areas. First and probably the most impactful we think is going to be the travel disruption and that's both the travel disruption on public transport and also the roads. Secondly, it's the heightened security that you're going to see in London during the Olympic Games. Thirdly, it's around demand for products and services. So experience from previous games is that many customers find that their customers want to buy more from them, which is great, but you need to think about that in advance and plan for it. And finally, it's what I call good housekeeping, but it's about making sure that you've taken steps to, think, to, to make sure that things that might go wrong during the games just don't go wrong during games time within your own operation. We've got um, almost 100,000 people working in the UK, so obviously one size doesn't fit, fit all, but um, we're doing a number of things to help our staff work during the games. First and foremost for our office-based staff, um, at BT almost 70% of our staff are able to work remotely. That means either working from home or working from another lo location. So what we've done is um, look on a day-by-day -day basis and on a location-by-location -location basis at where the worst impacts are going to be and we're advising staff that on certain days and at certain locations they just shouldn't come into London. Um, secondly, where they do have to come into London, we're working quite closely with Transport for London to um, understand what alternative either modes of transport or routes of transport might be available to them. And then thirdly, with the 2,500 engineers that we have working in London, we're um, looking at reducing the amount of work that they actually have to do by pre-planning the work. We're looking at locating engineers more locally so that where possible they can walk to their jobs rather than drive. And finally, we're also looking at um, changing the hours slightly that they work so that they can come into work a bit earlier or go home from work a bit later, which will help them with the travelling as well.